Hi, I'm Eddie Green. When I first met the subject of our film tonight, Tommy, I was entranced. To me, Tommy represented the future. That is why, ten years later, I have decided to revisit Tommy and see what progress he has made. The results surprised me. And after you finish watching our film tonight, you may be surprised as well. In 1997, local boffin Dave Rose unveiled his new invention. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you today one of the greatest wonders of the world. I've spent my last six months working on this project. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my vision for the future. Please, put your hands together for Tommy, the Tungsten Robot. Hello, my name is Tommy. Tommy the Tungsten Robot was, briefly, a national sensation. For a few months, the world couldn't get enough of Tommy. Local newsagent Keith Jones remembers those days. Yeah, yeah, they were crazy times. We, reporters from all over the world descended on our street. I remember Dave lapping up all the attention. You know, these things die down. The world moved on and... I think after a few months, people just got tired of Tommy and Dave. And then that awful man just took off. Took all his money and women. And left us here with that thing. Dave Rose suddenly disappeared when a local Horwich firm pressed charges against him over the theft of a hundredweight of raw tungsten stolen a few months previously. The biggest problem, of course, was that Tony Blair declared that Tommy was legally human. And so legally, he was entitled to live in David's bedsit and claim benefits. You know, sometimes I feel sorry for him. I see the kids tease him and the locals cross the road to avoid him. And I try and remember that he's all on his own in this world. Then he comes into my news agents. And. Well. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Keith. Isn't it a nice day? Yes, it's a lovely day. May I have a Mars bar? That'll be 40p, please, Tommy. May I pay you with nuts and bolts? Tommy, how many times do I have to tell you? I need money. I need money! I try to like him. Really, I do! Come on, out you go! But he just... He just gets in the way. Come on. What does he actually need the Mars bars for? I don't know. Keith told me that Tommy spends a lot of time wandering the streets. I decided to follow him around to gauge the public's reaction. Unfortunately, I found that wherever he goes, he encounters a great deal of hostility. Hello, my name Oi, is Tommy. Tommy. I'm trying to park here. Come on, clear it off. I'm meeting a very important Ark client, so I need to get you out of the way. Ark Tommy. No, no, Tommy, Ross Tommy, get, get Tommy's off me! Friend. Right, I'm Ross gonna fix you. I'm Ross gonna fix you. Tommy Come on! Get hurt, 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 leave it, leave it. They'll put you away. Don't do it. It's not worth it. He is my oh. friend. Oh. Good it doesn't end here, Tommy! Bruce, You're Bruce costing Tommy's me money now. Clear off! Get Tommy out of the neighborhood! Nobody likes you! I can't open the door! Come on! You are my best friend. Bruce! You've got to understand that I'm a very busy man. 
It brings down house prices. You try selling a cosy broom cupboard that needs a bit of work with that screeching, flailing mess wandering the streets. The truth is, after what happened with the old woman, people just don't want to touch him or speak to him. Except in Estonia, where Tommy still enjoys a modest recording career. Here, we see him recording a track for his new album. Tommy, um, I'd like to try this again, and this time I'd like to get it right, okay? Here we go, everybody, in five, four, three, two, one, let's kill him! I'm Tommy, I'm Tommy, your cheeky robot pal. I'm Tommy, I'm Tommy, I won't go wrong like hell. Stop! I'm Tommy, Stop! No, you're, Tommy, Tommy, you're a flat! You are entirely flat! I can say... Listen to, listen to me! Tommy! 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 No, it's useless! Tommy! This is a total waste Tommy. of time! I'm telling you, robots can't see! And that's another thing he does. He screams. He has this electrical fault. Basically, he builds up this huge electromagnetic charge. And every few weeks, he just explodes. Help! Hello! Hello! I'm very close to Bowman! I need me tablets! Please! Let me out! 200 quid this cost me. Completely useless now. My mother was in that lift. This huge pulse, it knocks out anything electrical within a few hundred yards. Nine hours they said she'd been in there. They said she'd held on for five hours. He's going to carry on. He's going to carry on flailing around for 250 years. His power cells will last 250 years. He's going to be walking around, screeching, and drawing benefits long after my great-great-grandchildren are dead. I mean, how is that right? That can't be right. He has an off switch, you know. He can't use it, of course. It's technically murder. They can't touch him. Just imagine, just imagine what we could learn if we were allowed to crack his head open. All these diseases, all these scientists experimenting on puppies and kittens because we can't build good enough computers. Having learned so much, I decided to go back to the place where it all started. Dave Rose's dilapidated bedsit. Now, of course, owned by Tommy. So this is where you live, is it, Tommy? This is where I live. Yes, and it's very good. Ah, ah, who is that? Yeah, that's you, Tommy. It's a reflection. This is where I live. Yeah, isn't it way bigger that we could... Oh. Um, oh. Ow! This <sighs> is where I live. This, this is where I live. This isn't going to work, Eddie. It's ridiculous. It's nothing can work like that. Oh. Yeah, Tommy, yeah, to you again. Who is that? Yes, it's a reflection again. This is yeah. where I live. We're going to the studio now. Eddie. Hello. Oh, great, it's here, Eddie. Good afternoon. Tommy, pleased to see you. I am pleased to meet you. <laughs> OK, we'll try this again, shall we? OK. Tommy, have you got everything you need? Mars bars? No, no Mars bars. So, Tommy, tell us what it's like to be a robot. Do you wish you could feel emotion? No. Tommy may have the strength to crush human bones like matchsticks, but without the ability to communicate with humans on any meaningful level, and with no hope of him ever being able to integrate into the community. The question remains, what is the point of Tommy? Indeed, 
What's the point of robots? I know what you media people are going to do. You're going to make this whole situation into some sort of metaphor for alienation in society. Aren't we all robots? Don't we all feel that we have to keep our feelings to ourselves because the other people in society don't want to hear them? Shouldn't we all be a bit more tolerant? Well, you don't have to live with it. You don't have to live with this self-absorbed behaviour every single day. What's he doing now? It's time for his monthly electromagnetic explosion. What? I had failed to heed the warnings, and Tommy had destroyed my camera. My time with him was over. Shortly before completing this documentary, we were made aware of an alarming new discovery. An amateur filmmaker provided us with some poorly constructed footage of Tommy about a week ago, accompanied by, well, will allow you to draw your own conclusions. Good night. <laughs>